So I'm switching back to rubber grip tape again. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while now, about three months ago, I switched back to sandpaper grip tape after using rubber grip tape for over a year, about a year and a half. And really, this was just kind of a personal experiment for me to see if switching back to normal grip tape was gonna make me even better or help me improve faster. I didn't know if the rubber grip tape was hindering me at all because I've been using it for almost a year and a half at that point. So I wanted to just experiment and see what we found out. And so I've been using sandpaper grip for the past three months or so, and I didn't really notice a difference. And because of that, I've ultimately decided to switch back to rubber grip tape, probably exclusively for the foreseeable future. And I've said this multiple times on the channel, but the main reason why I choose rubber grip tape and I like it so much is because it saves my shoes. And about a month ago, I got these, but I haven't been able to skate them because I didn't want to skate them using the sandpaper grip because I mean, they're brand new, they were $100, and I don't want to ruin my shoes so fast. These are the AVE Pros, I call them the AV Pros, and uh, they're from Vans, and I've had them, like I said, for a while now, and I've wanted to skate them, so I've decided to switch back to rubber grip tape. And one of the main reasons is because the rubber grip tape is supposed to grip the rubber of the bottom of the shoe, and these shoes aren't made out of canvas or suede. This top material right here is also like a type of rubber or a silicone or something. So my theory is that this rubber and all of this is gonna grip better than canvas or suede on the rubber grip tape. But there's no way for me to go test that unless I actually go out and use it and skate. So we've got the rubber grip, we've got the board, we've got the new shoes. Let's set this up and let's go skate.
guys just watched was actually the second skate session that I had with this grip and there's no peelage. I'm getting really good at cutting this rubber grip. Like I'm getting really good at it to where it doesn't peel on me at all anymore. I remember back over a year ago, my first couple boards, it would start to peel up after like the second skate session, but I'm getting pretty good at cutting it. But again, the main reason I skate this is to save my shoes. And speaking of that, let's grab my shoes and let me show you what they look like. So this is my left foot. This is my flick foot. And I don't know if you can see in this angle, but there is no damage, nothing at all. And I mentioned before that this material isn't canvas. It's like this rubbery material. And I think it's really helping me grip the board and give me this nice sense of board feel on the bottom as well. I've heard a lot of negative things about these shoes, about how they fit. And for me personally, they fit my feet. They're a little snug, but I also get my shoes a half size down. I want them to feel tight, like a sock or something on my foot so they don't fly off. I feel like that gives me more control over the skateboard when my shoes are tighter. And uh, so far, I'm loving these shoes. I've had two really good skate sessions in them, and I hope because I'm using rubber grip, they're gonna last me quite a long time. If this is your first time to the channel and you haven't really heard me talk about rubber grip before, I've got several other videos. I'll have them down in the description. Be sure to check those out. I talk about the, my very first time I had rubber grip. I talk about using it for a year and my experiences with it. In this video, I'm finally coming back to it because I went to sandpaper grip for a while just to kind of test it out and see if I felt a difference. And honestly, I don't. I landed all my normal tricks that I usually do today within the usual amount of tries. The new grip felt great and I I can't see myself going back to sandpaper grip just because it it destroys my shoes way too fast. I mean look, these are the Nike SB Ashad wears and they are absolutely destroyed and I paid about $100 for these as well, about the same price as the Av Pros, the Vans over there. And I've had to replace these shoelaces twice already in the very first skate session with these with sandpaper grip. I ripped the shoelaces and had to replace them. Like two laces broke and my shoe was really loose and it's, it's dangerous when you skate with loose shoes, I feel like. You could easily roll your ankle, your shoe flies off and you hurt your foot, but I just, I couldn't do it anymore. So I went back and again, it's saving my shoes. I hate ripping laces and having to replace laces and rubber grip tape doesn't rip your laces. So yeah. But that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know, have you tried rubber grip tape? Are you considering trying rubber grip tape after watching my past videos? I think everyone should give it a try, but I will say it's not for everybody. Some people hate it. Cause I know friends of mine that have tried it cause they know that I use it and they hate it. But for me, it works. It saves me money. It saves my shoes. And that's just uh, what I like. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.